In this tutorial, I will show you how to simply and successfully install BIMP known as Batch Image Manipulation Plugin on your Mac OS Catalina or Big Sur with no errors. Just keep watching. Hello everyone and welcome to Ask Dudu channel. My name is Dudu and I'm back again with another game tutorial that will help you install BIMP on your Mac OS Catalina or Big Sur. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please go ahead and click that red big button to give me some support. And if you are a Windows OS user, I have made also another tutorial for this same topic. If you are into that, check it out from the link on the top right corner or from the description below. So back to our main topic. In my last video too, I shared with you guys what I thought would be the simplest yet easy step-by-step -step installation process of BIM plugin. And according to the most comments and feedbacks received, Quite many of you ended up with installation errors. Mostly this one you see in the screen. Once you type make install command, which basically means that you are missing the GIMP tool executable package, which is required in order to compile and install BIM plugin source files on your system. So I went up and down searching for solutions, asked the team behind the BIM plugin for advices and how to easily fix this. The good news though, Last week I got an updated version of BIM plugin which contains an installer file compatible with Mac OS. As you may have noticed from my previous video, initially this plugin didn't have any installer file, which made it somehow more required and difficult to install. Anyhow, before we go any deeper, please make sure you got the latest game 2.10 version. If not, go ahead and install it first in order to keep on with this tutorial. And just a quick notice, I'm using the latest macOS Big Sur, and I have also installed the same plugin on macOS Catalina following the same steps. So rest assured that the process is compatible with any version of macOS. Now, let's see how to install the plugin. First of all, go ahead and open your browser to GitHub link to access the source file of the plugin. You can simply copy paste the link from the description below. Once there, all you have to do is click to download the plugins folder. The one we are looking for is this r.gz format. Once the file has been finished downloading as it has in my Mac, double click on it to extract its content. One thing I want to bring to your attention though, if you have previously installed any other plugins on your GIMP, you are safe to continue because you won't have any installation errors. However, if this is your first time installing a plugin on your GIMP, you will get an error. That I will show you how to fix and get the things done the right way. Furthermore, the installation process requires two steps. The first step is installing the plugin, and the second step is activating the plugin. Therefore, don't skip up. So, the installation step open the extracted source folder and select install file. Double click on it to launch the installation script. Your terminal window will pop up with installation results. And as I previously mentioned, depending on your case, you might get successfully installed message or you will end up with an error as follow. Bench of code with error message, missing plugins folder. This means that the original folder where plugins are installed is not yet created by our system. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and open your GIMP, head to your preferences, then scroll down to folders, Click the plus icon to expand its content and scroll down to plugins folder. From here, you will see the folder path or where it's supposed to be. Also, this thumbs down icon tells us that the folder doesn't exist. And actually from here, we can create it. All you have to do is click on this open folder icon here. This will help expand the exact location of our missing folder. Click on it and give it the exact name, plugin-ins, hit enter, and it should open up. Finally, hit OK button to confirm your process. And now you will notice that we got a thumbs up, and we are good to go. Let's quit the game for now, and redo the installation process. Go back to plugins folder, select and double click on install file. And here you go, install completed successfully. Now that we have installed BIMP in the plugins folder, let's activate it. 
Depending on your security settings, you may encounter a warning message when you open GIMP the next time. BIMP cannot be opened. In this case, click Cancel and close GIMP. After that, go to your System Preferences, Security and Privacy, General tab, click Allow Anyway to unlock BIMP plugins executable files. Close your preferences and open GIMP again. This time the warning message gives you more options and it will let you click the open button. Click on it to continue. That's it with the activation process. Let's give it a try and open our GIMP. And voila, we have successfully installed our BIMP plugin. So once again, this installation process has been tested with macOS Catalina and the latest Mac OS Big Sur as well. If you ended up with any kind of error, please let me know in a comment below and how you ended up there. This will help me reproduce the same steps and I will for sure try to give you an answer. And for those of you who are curious and know how to use terminal commands, I have another solution on how to install the plugin without any error. But this requires some attention and knowledge of command lines. I have spent some time investigating the source file and easily found the bug that caused the error of missing folder. On your terminal window, open up this install file. Just type nano or any command you use followed by the file path or just drag and drop the file into your terminal window and hit enter. As you can see here, there is a command to create a folder at a specific location. However, this command somehow got ignored because it couldn't create nested folders. So to make it work, all we have to do is add in a pswitch after the make directory command. This will allow the command to create parents directories and subdirectories. Once done, hit Ctrl X to stop editing and Y to save your changes. Just quick recall, let's check that we don't have BIMP installed and also make sure that the plugins folder is showing a thumbs down which refer to a missing folder. This is good. Let's quit the GIMP and go back to install file. Double click on it. And here we go. Installation is successfully this time and we don't have any errors. We need though to activate the plugin. Just let's follow the same steps mentioned previously Click Cancel and quit GIMP. After that, back to your system preferences, security and privacy, general tab, and click allow anyway to unlock BIMP activation file. Close your preferences and open GIMP again. This time the warning message gives you more options and it will let you click the open button, click connect to continue, that's it with the activation process. Let's give it a try and open our GIMP. And here we are, we have successfully installed our BIM plugin. So, once again, this installation process has been tested with Mac OS Catalina and latest Mac OS Big Sur as well. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial and hope this time you will get it to work. If you have any troubles with the installation process, please do let me know in a comment below by adding hashtag askdudu following your command. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Bye then, thanks again for watching, my name is Dudu and I will see you on my next video.